It is that time of year again. Yes, that's right. WWE 2K24 is just around the corner. We're starting to get the first signs of news, rumors, teasers, leaks. So let's round up everything we know so far in this video. So this all started when WWE games changed their profile photo on their social media accounts to this new WWE 2K24 logo. The 2K24 logo is basically the same as the 2K23 logo, only it's a very slightly different colors. Most notable thing though is the background is a different color. It was it used to be red and blue. It used to be red and blue. Now it's pretty much blue with a bit of red, but yeah, nothing really to write home about here. However, the other change that was slightly more notable was this one to the header photo, where again, you see that new WWE 2K24 logo. However, there is also the date. So this is the 22nd of January 24, which is this Monday coming up, which suggests that on this Monday coming up, we're going to get some sort of news, some sort of announcement, some something concrete about this game, because at the moment, all we're really getting is teasers. So this Monday, something big is going to happen. I'm thinking they're either going to be releasing the cover or it's going to be the first trailer, maybe both. But yeah, this is the first time they've actually officially acknowledged the game that exists. We all knew WWE 2K24 was coming, but this is the first time it's actually been acknowledged in any capacity. So whatever we see on this Monday is going to be the first glance we see at anything they've put out. And if it is any kind of trailer, I will 100% be watching that and reacting to it. So do come back to the channel to check that out. But anyway, the other thing to notice here is the background here is a bit different. Again, we saw that blue background on the profile photo here. We're seeing a much darker blue a darker red, almost like a purple color. So I won't dwell too much on the colors just yet, but we will revisit that in a little later on in the video because I do have some theories as to why this could be. But yeah, just to mention, we also don't know because Monday Night Raw is obviously on Monday. We don't know whether this is going to be on Monday Night Raw or if this is just going to be like put out on their social media channels like this were. So I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. I think it's clear that WWE 2K love a bit of this uh, viral marketing that they're going for here. So the first teaser we saw then was this right here, and we see that date again. Something is being released on the 22nd. And this is an image of a referee shirt. Now, we know this referee shirt is specific to WWE 2K24 because you can see the WWE 2K24 logo on there. So, so this isn't any old referee shirt. This has something to do with the game. The other thing to notice as well is that it doesn't have any sleeves on it. Now, normally when we've seen a sleeveless referee it's a special guest referee so this is a feature people have been asking for for a long time special guest referee so i think this is an indication that special guest referee may be a return into wwe 2k it was last seen i believe in the ps3 xbox 360 era so it has been a little while since we've had special guest referee in the game i think it's long overdue i you know if i'm being completely honest I don't know why they removed it in the first place. Obviously, I'm hyped for this coming back because it is a good mode, but I, I'm a bit wary of giving 2K too much credit here because let's face it, they shouldn't ever have taken it out. It should already be in the game. So, you know, let's not give them too much credit here, but you know, I am glad it is coming back at least. So the other thing to note from this referee shirt is that it also has the skull emoji in the caption and the skull emoji, I think relates to Stone Cold, of course, the smoking skull. He has a skull on the back of his jacket as well. So yeah, they've got the Stone Cold skull there for some reason. And also, if you look down the bottom, you will note that Stone Cold, Steve Austin, is tagged in the photo. So why have they tagged Stone Cold in this referee shirt? Well, Stone Cold has been a special guest referee in a number of matches in the past. Quite notable ones, actually, including at WrestleMania, the Battle of the Billionaires, Donald Trump versus Vince McMahon. Well, it was actually Bobby Lashley against Umaga. Um, but yeah, Stone Cold refereed that match. Stone Cold also refereed another match a couple of years earlier, Brock Lesnar versus Goldberg. So yeah, I think if you're going to pick one person, one superstar who is synonymous with special guest referee, it probably is Stone Cold. And that could be one explanation as to why they've tagged Stone Cold here. But another possible explanation that it might be relates to showcase mode. And that would be that one of the matches that Stone Cold was the referee of is in the showcase mode. So for example, that Brock versus uh, Goldberg match I mentioned, if they were to do maybe a Brock Lesnar showcase, then that match could be in there. It's just a little bit confusing. You know, why have they tagged Stone Cold in this? I guess we're going to find out soon enough. But, you know, we've all got a head scratch in here. But I think this is going to be the inclusion of the special guest referee mode. Another reason I think this is because Brian Williams, who is a developer for WWE 2K, put out this tweet where he says, damn, this is exciting. I guess I'll be able to talk about this soon then. So the fact that one of the developers is going to be talking about this photo of the referee shit clearly suggests that 
if the developer is going to be talking about it, then some kind of developer has gone into it. So he's clearly programmed the special guest referee match into the game. So I guess that's that mystery solved. But what about this one? Because WWE 2K put out another post, another teaser, this again showing that same date. Only this time it shows a casket. Now looking at the casket, you can see a WWE 2K24 logo on it. So this isn't any old casket. This casket is specifically for WWE 2K24. Now, who do we associate with caskets? Obviously, Obviously, it's The Undertaker, and you can see The Undertaker is also tagged in this photo. So what could this mean? Like The Undertaker and a casket. If we're getting special guest referee match back, we could also be getting casket match back. That would be my bet here. Yeah. Again, the question is, why have they tagged The Undertaker? I mean, I guess they're maybe just tagging the superstar who is most relatable to whatever it is that's sharing. But yeah, I think if they posted the casket alone, it would be more obvious what it is. The fact that they tagged the Undertaker, the same with the referee shirt. If they just posted the referee shirt, it would be much clearer like what they're trying to say. But the fact that they tagged Stone Cold, like that just muddies the water here. That just adds confusion. And you can see a bit of purple lighting on this casket as well. So of course, purple is the color that we associate with the Undertaker. So as if there was any doubt what this could be referencing, it's The Undertaker. Now, the reason that I think that this is referencing match types and probably not something in showcase mode is because a couple of years ago, after the disaster that was WWE 2K20, but they took a year out. They took a gap year, you know, to improve everything, to fix the game. And as part of that, they sought feedback to the community. They came to us and they said, yo, what do you guys want in the game? We're trying to make the game better. How can we do that? Help us to help you. And this right here is a list of what was requested by the fans as part of the feedback. And you can see overwhelmingly in first place there is GM mode. And they've already addressed that, right? In 2K22, they brought back GM mode. Well, they brought my GM, it's kind of the same, just not as good as GM mode, but they brought back my GM. So they're listening to fans, okay? That was the most requested feature by fans. They have listened to the fans and brought that back into the game. In at number two is create a story, which is something that I really, really want in the game, honestly, so much. Just imagine like all the crazy stories you could make, but I don't think that would be the main part, right? I think the best part would be uploading them onto community creations, then going on and downloading stories that other people have made. That would be so insane, so crazy, so wacky. Just imagine all the content you'd be able to make, right? Imagine if you could create a story and upload it for your favorite YouTuber to then download and do a playthrough of. Imagine if they did that, we could do that here on this channel. You guys could upload stories and then I could play through them and rate them here on the channel. Like that would be so awesome. So I still hope that create a story makes it into the game this year. I'm not super hopeful, but anyway, I'm kind of sidetracking here because let's go down to the third most requested feature and that is Revive missing match types. So GM mode was the most requested feature and they brought that back. So 2K obviously have a track record of listening to what the fans want. And this is one of the things the fans want is those match modes, the special referee, the casket match. So that is, you know, why I believe that that is what these teasers are hinting at. And if that wasn't enough to convince you, then I think this right here might be the smoking gun because Rips, who is the leader of pro wrestling mods, so this is a group of people who every year when the game comes out, they mod it, you know, they take the game apart, they look at all the code, work out what can and can't be done with the game, look to improve the game as much as they can and as possible. By the way, I just want to take this moment to say shout out to those guys because honestly, they work so hard and they do some incredible work and 2K, okay, is never going to show them the love, okay? They do not care about the modding community. This is a group of people I feel who are seriously underappreciated and I just want to do what I can so give them a shout out go check their website out as well pwmods.io if you ever want wrestling mods it's super super convenient to have everything all in one place there so yeah once again shout out to these guys yeah going back to what Rip says he says he was going through some of the files and he found the coding for an unfinished Inferno mode back in a previous game. And so Inferno mode hasn't been in the game for so long. And considering they completely, you know, like wiped the game and started again for 2K22, 2K23, why would there possibly be a half finished Inferno mode coded somewhere into the game? Unless, of course, they were already working on it and it wasn't quite finished at the time, but now it is. And that would fit in perfectly with the theme of bringing back old match types and one of the most requested features by the WWE 2K community. I think the fact that an unfinished Inferno mode is already coded into the game 
That has got to be the smoking gun, you know, that confirms it. Inferno mode will be announced next. However, another point about all of these matches so far is they all have one common theme running through it. Inferno match, casket match. I mean, not so much of a special guest referee match, but I'll, let me explain. The Undertaker is a constant in all of these matches. I mean, the casket match, that is Undertaker's match. I mean, the Inferno match too. The Inferno match, I guess, is technically Kane's match. But the Undertaker and Kane had the most famous Inferno match. And Undertaker has also had a special guest referee match with, by the way, Stone Cold as the special guest referee. He had a match against Kane. I think it was at one of the In Your Houses in 98, Undertaker versus Kane with Stone Cold as the special guest referee. So that would explain why Stone Cold is tagged in the referee shirt. Undertaker, of course, had a casket match. I believe it was against Shawn Michaels. And Undertaker had an Inferno match against Kane. So I'm starting to wonder here whether this year's showcase mode is going to be The Undertaker. And that would also, as I said at the start of the video, that change in the color scheme looks a lot darker and looks more fitting for a more sinister character like The Undertaker. And so I would like to speculate here. I'm going to go on record and make my prediction. I think that Showcase Mode is going to be The Undertaker themed, but not just The Undertaker themed. I think the Showcase is going to be Undertaker gimmick matches. Because what better way to reintroduce these old match types back into the game by having a mode specifically for them, a Showcase Mode, not just of Undertaker's career, but all the crazy gimmick matches that Undertaker has had throughout his career. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know what other match types you want to see included in the game. And hey, I'll catch you next time.